1953, real interest was beginning to be shown in ballistic missiles. In August of 1954, the Air Force Ballistic Missile Division was created. It was the advent of the thermonuclear breakthrough that gave impetus to the missile development program. A study was made of possible locations for a ballistic weapons training and operational site. It wasn't until 200 potential areas were evaluated that the present site of Vandenberg Air Force Base was finally selected. Here on one piece of real estate can be found the oldest and the newest in aerospace efforts. Today, the division's 576 strategic missile squadron maintains operational readiness with the Atlas ICBM, a powerful addition to the SAC alert force manned by Vandenberg's early trainees and ready to launch should an attack come. Five Thor pads with operational site facilities are maintained by the 392nd Missile Training Squadron. Two additional pads in the Thor complex are being used exclusively in the southward launch of Discoverer orbiting vehicles. The Discoverer program is the springboard for follow-on programs like MIDAS, CMOS, programs which will aid our defense position in the areas of detection and surveillance. The 395th Missile Training Squadron has been activated to assume the responsibility for training all SAC Titan weapon system crews. While the Titan has been undergoing tests at Canaveral, Florida, most of the personnel of the squadron are being contractor trained in their individual specialties at the launch site and in the factories. Still under development, the Minuteman, a three-stage solid fuel propellant missile, has undergone tethered launches at Edwards Air Force Base. After the research and development flight test phases have been completed at Cape Canaveral, the program will be assigned to Vandenberg for crew training responsibilities. Atlas missiles ready for firing from a permanent vertical position. Today these missiles can react immediately, but they are already obsolescent, for they are unprotected from both weather and enemy attack. Not far away, however, is a more advanced idea. Atlas missiles placed in a horizontal position, capable of being raised quickly to firing position and having environmental shelters. And even before this configuration is completed, still another concept is being constructed. Atlas missiles using a self-contained guidance system, which means they can be protected from enemy attack, hardened, as they say in the trade. And moving in conjunction with the ICBM Atlas, the Titan. But Titan has already bypassed Atlas in many areas. It is hard-based now an underground complex that will house the missile as well as all the support equipment necessary to fire it.